How you doing guys? Today we have a 2022 Kia Sorento and we're gonna create another key fob. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate the emergency blade that the customer have in his key. And um, if you wanna know how to create it in the machine KK12, I have a video that you can watch how to create it in the machine. So I'm going to decode the key. The machine is going to check all the cuts and then we're going to cut. By the way, if you like those videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and write me in the comments below. decode everything and all of them are in blue color that means that everything is lined up exactly and nothing is worn out so I'm gonna take the new key fob and we're gonna remove the emergency blade which is still a blank and we're gonna slide it in the clamp and we'll start cutting After I finish to cut the first side, I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to turn it over and cut the second side. When it finish cutting both sides, I can put it back in the fob and that should work fine on the door. So in order to program, I'm going to use the KM100. This is the original key and this is the brand new one and it's not working yet. So I'm going to use Autel KM100. I'm going to take the dongle and I'm going to connect it underneath uh, the steering column to the OBD2. So we're going to accept the terms. I always start with the uh, ignition on on position, so I turn the start button twice and all the dash lights are coming up. We're going to hit accept. We're going to make sure a few things. The first thing we want to make sure the VCI is connected, so it's connected to the dongle. Second thing we want to make sure we have a good internet connection because uh, this car needs to be uh, programmed via internet. So it's connected to my shop uh, Wi-Fi. So we're gonna go to Immobilizer. We're gonna go to Kia. We're gonna go to Automatic Selection because the ignition is on, we can read the VIN number. Tell me to turn on the ignition, it's already on. And we have the VIN number, hit OK. We're gonna choose USA. We're going to make sure that everything is correct and we're going to hit yes. We're going to put smart key because it's a push to start. Then we're going to go to control unit and we're going to go to read immobilize the password. I can already tell you that this machine cannot read the password. It tells me to turn the hazards, turn off the, the ignition and close the door. Um, I'm just going to show you because I tried it in 20 minutes and nothing came up. It says that the, reading the password, it may take a long time, but after 20 minutes, there was no process, progress. So I used a website called Super Pin Codes. This website you pay, it costs $45 and uh, uh, I put the VIN number and I got the programming pin code. So I'm going to go back in the menu going to hit smart key we're going to go to hot function we're going to go to smart key learning now that we have six digit pin code and we're going to start the procedure it tells me it's going to erase all the keys so we'll have to rewrite them that's okay turn the ignition off and close the door hit okay That's the, the crucial thing about the Wi-Fi, we need to be connected. 
Now it asks me for the pin code. I can write down the six digit pin code that I bought at the website Super Pin Codes. Um, this website is very good for Hyundai Kia pin codes if you need to. Hit OK. Make sure that the code is correct and hit yes. All right. It just tell you to, that you need to know where the antenna is so you know where to put the key next to in order to program. I'm going to hit yes because I already know that it's right next to the push start. Now, after I press OK, I need to push with the fob on the push start and keep it pushed for about five seconds until the machine tell me it's programmed. So I'm going to put it next to it. I'm not pressing yet. I'm going to put it next to the lock button. So I'm going to push it with it in a second. Um, I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to push right away. So I push and hold the start button until the machine tells me program succeeded. Would you like the next one? I'm going to hit yes because I need to reprogram the customer's fob. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit yes. Then it's going to tell me again. After I hit OK, I have five seconds to push it in until it tells me it succeeded. And that's it. This is a, should work just fine. Current number of keys there is two. I'm going to hit OK. It tells me to go outside and check the keys. I'm going to open and close the door. and everything works just fine. That's it. Um, please don't forget um, to like the video and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I would love to answer. Um, and thank you for watching. Here's uh, the rest of the testing of the key.